guys and welcome back to vlog week day four i thought it would be fun to do like an evening vlog for today since you guys have pretty much seen my usual day to day every day i figured that would be boring so i figured i'd do an evening vlog tonight it is almost five o'clock i just logged off and typically the first thing i do when i log off is take poppy out so we took poppy out now we're back i feel like thursdays I try and romanticize Thursday nights as much as possible because to me Thursday night is like just as exciting as the weekend because like we're so close to it. So typically Thursday nights are doing like whatever makes me feel good. So that's usually like tidying up the apartment, not doing anything crazy, just tidying, cleaning up stuff. We're going to do our everything shower like we always do. We're going to shave, moisturize, self tan. We're going to wash our hair. I typically... Every other day of the week, it's kind of up in the air when I wash my hair, but I, nine times out of 10, will be washing it on a Thursday just to get like ready for the weekend and feeling my best. It's also kind of up in the air if I work out on Thursdays or not, just because like, I like to give myself a break on Thursday. So I didn't work out today. I did walk a lot. So like, I'm not too pressed about it. And honestly, I just don't feel like doing it today. So we're not going to. So first things first, just took Poppy out. I think I'm just gonna take a second and clean some stuff. Also, one thing I wanna do tonight is just start thinking, maybe doing some packing since I am moving next Friday. <laughs> but let's start with just tidying up and get our minds straight from there. is the season of screaming over my AC. Um, I feel like moving has been such a testament to how horrible I am in dealing with like stress and perfectionism and needing to get things done like as soon as I think of them. I feel like I today especially I've just been like a bundle of stress. One because work has been very stressful this week but also like I keep thinking of things I need to do this weekend to prep for my move next Friday. And I just like want to get them done. Like I need everything done now and that's just not realistic. So I'm trying to like think of little things I can get done now and like feel good about it. So I think I'm gonna tackle some glassware wrapping and clearing out my bar cart. I'm getting rid of some of my stemless wine glasses. I'm giving them to my sister's friend just because like Henry and I, between the two of us, have so much glassware, like we don't need it. So I'm gonna wrap those for her because I'm gonna give those to her this weekend. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and take all the liquor bottles off of my bar cart and try and pack those in something to take over to Henry's because my bar cart is not coming with me to Henry's current place. It will probably come with us to like our new place, but Henry already has bar cart and there's just like not space for this one. So it is going to, it's going to stay in my parents while I'm with Henry, but I'm going to go ahead and take all the bottles off and figure out how to pack those. Also, it's so funny to me that I have so much liquor over here because I mean like I drink but I'm really not a big drinker. I don't drink alone. I typically just drink like socially. Um, like I don't even really drink when we make excuse me. I don't even really drink like when we cook at home or anything. Like it's got to be a very special occasion for me to want to drink or it has to have been like a really hard week so it's always funny to me how much liquor I have over here like this tequila has not even been opened and I had it for lord knows how long all these bottles of wine that I have not drank honestly looking at all this now I don't even know if this is all going to fit on Henry's bar cart we're gonna we're gonna have to figure something out Wait, okay, this is so funny. I just took this off my bar cart. It's just some um, some Prosecco. And 
This is so cute because my friends got me this when I got my new job that I'm currently in right now. And if you watched yesterday's vlog week, uh, you would have noticed my one year anniversary. So I feel like I should have opened this yesterday. I'm kind of bummed. Maybe we'll open it this weekend. I am also going to go ahead and pack up what's on my little bookshelf in my living room because a lot of this isn't coming with me to Henry's and it's something small that I can accomplish today. I do think I'm going to take these pictures with me because even though my bookshelf isn't coming, I want these pictures to be somewhere. This is one of me and Henry on our first camping trip. I don't know if you can see that very well. And this is me. <laughs> This is me and my best friend Molly. This picture frame is so dirty, but we dressed up. I went to a date party with her. We dressed up as Drake and Josh, and I just think this is one of my favorite memories with Molly. I got Chick-fil-A for dinner, which typically I don't eat out during the week, but honestly, this week has just been so long and so hard, like work-wise, Personally-wise, mentally, emotionally, physically, like I feel like this week has chewed me up and spit me out. So I needed a treat to celebrate almost getting through. I feel like my mind has just been like on this whole week. Like if I'm not working, I'm thinking about moving. If I'm not doing that, I'm thinking about something else. And I have just decided I need like an hour to just turn off my brain and just like be. So I am going to eat my Chick-fil-A and watch something on TV just for an hour to decompress because honestly like I feel like my mind and my body has like been like this all week just like so tense and wound up that I I just need to chill out. It's now my favorite part of Thursday night which is our everything shower. I thought I would just show you guys really quickly what I use in the shower because I don't think I've ever told you guys that before. Okay, when it's wash day, I go all out. So I double cleanse. And I typically use this Kristen S. Clarifying Shampoo. And then I will also go back in with the Olaplex Shampoo. That's what's in this right now. Um, every once in a while, I will use a purple shampoo for my blonde hair. And then I use the Olaplex Conditioner. I always use this as a face wash. Nothing special. I always use this when I shampoo. I always use this to comb my hair. I feel like this is boring. Um, for body wash, I used salt hair body wash. Whenever I'm gonna shave, I use the Tree Hut sugar scrub, and then I also use the Tree Hut shave oil. Something about an everything shower on a Thursday, I just feel like it's like washing the week away. It's so nice. I'll be honest, sometimes I'm lazy. And I don't feel like doing it, but I know I will feel so much better once I do it. So I try and get myself to do it at least once a week. It might not always happen on Thursday, but typically that's when I do it. And then I'll get my body all prepped to do self-tan, which is also something I'm not always good at doing because I get lazy. But we are doing it tonight because I need to just feel better. I feel like this week has just been so hard. She is showered, exfoliated, moisturized, feeling so much better. Uh, I also self-tanned and I talk about these all the time, but if you're new here and you haven't seen my other vlogs, my go-to self-tan face drops are the Tan Lux. I get the medium dark and I do about like one and a half drops and that's perfect for me. My body, I will either use the Bondi Sands One Hour Aero Express if I feel like waiting an hour to wash it off or if I'm lazy and I don't want to wait, I will use the Tan Lux The Butter. Both of these products are great. I've been using them for years and there's a reason I keep going back to them. So usually now I would go and read and I really need to read because we have book club next week and I'm not done with the book yet. We're reading uh, The Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune, which is such a cute summer read. You should definitely read it if you haven't. But since I'm doing vlog week and said so I'm going to opt to edit tonight. So I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I know today's was a little shorter than the other ones this week, but yesterday's was like 26 minutes long. So I feel like we've got some balance here, you know? Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in for vlog week day five tomorrow. It'll be the final day of vlog week. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.